here's how to set your frequency counter to make sure it's exactly say 10 megahertz i have this little radio over here playing on 10 megahertz exactly and that's the wwv signal on 10.000000 megahertz so i just bought this chinese generator and i was trying to figure out is this thing really accurate or not so i've been playing around with the frequency here and you can tell if something's accurate you can zero beat it so you can see that i got a tone now coming up from heterodyning with wwv i have a little antenna on this thing going out and You can hear the tetradyne, so that means I'm off frequency. I'm trying to go to 10.000. And it seems like this thing at 10 megahertz is actually 10.0002. So it's off by a little bit in frequency around 10 megahertz, which is a shame. And if I go down, the heterodyne goes the other way. So to really find the frequency, you want to get this thing so you can hear the beat swishing around. So if you hear the signal, it's kind of going swish, swish, swish. I'm going to turn up the amplifier gain a bit here on this generator. Okay, let's turn up the amp gain here to get the signals to have to die a little worse here. Let's try it this way. If I turn the amp up real far, you won't even hear WWV anymore. So now they're heterodyning pretty equally. And now we can go back to the frequency. In which we press the frequency key here. And now I can show you how they oscillate again. So you can hear that tone in the background. That's my generator heterodyning with WWV. Anyway, to make sure it's on frequency, this should read 10.0000000, and it doesn't, so I would have to open this generator up and calibrate it a bit more, which I might do. So let's see if it's where it is exactly. And for that, we dial up a finer frequency here. How about that? Okay, I can hear it's kind of wobbling a bit. That's at about 2 hertz. I'm trying to show the uh, hydrodyne effect when I take the frequency down. Okay, this isn't doing much because it's too fine of a change. Let's go to a bigger delta here. Okay, that makes a difference. You can hear a bit more. I'm going to crank down the amp on this thing to get a better heterodyne. Let's see. Crank the amp down.
Yeah, you can hear it now pretty good. Yep, so I'm off a bit. I'm off by 0 0.0002 megahertz on this counter. Something to fix. But for like 90 bucks from China, this is a pretty good counter. I can also put modulation on the signal too, which I figured out how to do finally. So let's try that. So let's crank up the amp and we're going to drown out WWV here. So I'm going to really crank this amp up to like a few volts. And now the radio over here is drowned out by a strong signal. And now we can go to modulate this channel 2. So I have channel 2 out to an antenna here. And hit the mod button here to modulate it. Channel 2. Okay, our modulation is not what I want. I want AM. Let's go to AM modulation. There it is. And now I'm using channel 1 for the actual modulation, so we have to hit channel 1 button here. There's channel 1. And let's see where it's at. I had this working before. Oh, if I don't have it in modulation mode doesn't work so go back to channel one channel one on channel two i'm transmitting off channel two to an antenna so on channel two i go to modulation here in the mod button and it should be working i think i can tweak channel one here now a bit Let's try frequency of channel 1. Have no luck. Unfortunately. I had this working great. Unless my frequency is too high. Let's go lower here. I think we're too high. Let me go lower. Okay, right about here. Go oh, 1,000. There we go. So there's 10 kilohertz of modulation right there. You can hear it. So that's 1,000 kc. 900, 800, 700. So that's how you can modulate this thing. Sine wave is on. Can we crank up the uh, modulation amplitude in this thing? Go to channel 1, which, or channel 2, which I'm transmitting from channel 2. The only thing is the modulation stops when you go off that mode, which is a bummer. And let's see, on channel 2, I want to go to, let's see, channel, channel 2. There's the modulation. Yeah, I want to crank it like to 50% or something like that. Okay, well, this is a little intro to the generator, which I've been mucking with here. Again, this is a um, K-Moon FY6800. And it's a two-channel generator, which I've been messing around to see how it's calibrated with um, WWV playing on a shortwave radio. It's over there. Oh, radio. Okay, well, thanks for watching and have a great day.